Hey everybody, Joe here with just a uh, quick dive into Lightroom Classic CC to just clarify some of the confusion about the difference between the catalog and folders and collections. So here we are in Lightroom and I've got the library module open and you can see up here in the upper left catalog. Well, that's got all my photographs in it and this is, happens to be one of my small catalogs. Down here underneath the image, you have this thing that looks like a grid. Well, that's the grid view. And the shortcut for that is G. So if you hit that, it will show you smaller thumbnails of all the images that you have uh, up right now. Now, we are actually looking at a collection, not the entire catalog. How do I know that? Well, let's scroll down here and you see I have my demo image files. So if I instead I come up and click on all photographs, then it's going to show me all 20,186 images, and here they all are. The catalog is the place where the links to the images are stored, along with data about them, like where they were, when they were taken, uh, what camera was used, uh, settings. So, for example, if I click, oh, I'll just bring up this one particular image here, and if I hit the I key, it shows the name of it, how big it is. And if I hit it again, it shows me the, the settings. So 60th of a second at 6.3 at ISO 800 and what time of day and what date it was taken. Now, this is simply a link to the image that is stored on the hard drive. They're not actually in the catalog. The catalog is just a listing of all your images. And the confusion happens when you move them. The catalog is a database and databases are just links to the data. If you move the stuff that it's linked to, like I take this image outside of Lightroom and I move it to another drive or change the name of the folder or move it to a different folder, Lightroom loses it. It's not going to be able to find it and you're going to have to go find it again. So if you're going to move an image, it's best to do it inside of Lightroom because then Lightroom sees it move. So again, the catalog is just the repository and the listing of all the images that you've brought in and it maintains a link. If you change anything to that image, the name, the place, etc., Lightroom's going to lose it and you're going to have to go find it again. Now collections are temporary kind of virtual uh, groupings of images that you use for a certain reason. So for example, if I come down to, where's my little... Uh, Lightroom demo images. Okay, these are images we've been using in our recent classes. And let's say for, for an example, I want to take this raw file of a lighthouse and I want to take the rest of the edits and I want to just put these in a catalog. In fact, we'll add some more. I'll add some more before and afters of some demonstrations we've done during the class. So let's see, I'll try these two. And I'll come over here, I'll get that one, and I will add two more. So I, let's say I want quick access to the before afters from this class. So what I'm going to do is click on the plus, create a collection, and I'll call it, oh, before after test, because I don't really need this. And I'm going to include the selected photos, which saves me the trouble of having to bring them in again. So there it is, before, after, test, 13 images, and here they all are. And if I click on here, I can scroll through and see the before and afters and the variations of the images. There we go. That's what a collection is. When I'm done with this, I can delete it. I can change the order. Why would I do this? Well, maybe I'm going to do a presentation or I'm going to do a book and I want to have a different collection for each chapters. But once I'm done with it, they can go away. So let's say, for example, I decide I'm done with this. I'm done with these two. I can just hit delete and they're gone. But I didn't actually delete them. All it did was take them out of the collections. When you delete something out of a collection, don't worry. It's still in your catalog. Now, conversely, let's take a look at folders. Folders are where you can cause yourself a lot of trouble. Because if I come into folders, let's say, oh, let's look at this drive right here. And I'll, I'll take a, a folder with just a small amount of images in it. Here we go. Oh, those are web shots. Let's see. All right, panel demonstration shot. Now there's an exciting image, a parking lot at a shopping plaza. Um, but, up oh, there we go. There's a panel version of it. Isn't that exciting? But 
I'm looking at it in the folders. And what folders is showing you, it's actually showing you your hard drive. It's showing you images stored on a drive. And this is this is my drive, Little Red T7, is a external SSD drive I hooked have hooked up to my computer. If I delete an image from in here, I'm actually deleting the image off my computer. So with this, if I hit the delete key, Lightroom comes up and asks me, do you really want to do this? You can, and you, it gives you a choice. It does save you a little bit. You can remove it from Lightroom or if you can delete it from disk. If I delete it from the disk, it's gone. It's thrown out. And you can also obviously hit cancel. So if I hit cancel, I don't want to do it. If I were to take an entire folder or like something like this and delete the entire thing, all of the images in there would be gone. They'd be thrown out. So don't be throwing out stuff from in here because uh, the sadness is going to ensue. Now, one thing I can do, let's say I want, oh, uh, here, here's a, here's a collection of images I call impact images. Let's get rid of the eye to get rid of the details. But let's say I want to be able to use these in a slideshow, but I don't want to mess with them in here. So what I can do is I can control or right click right next to this folder. And again, I'm in the folders. Click on there and I get a menu and I can create a collection of these images. I'll just leave it the same name. And now if I scroll down to my collections and open those up, there it is. Here is all of those images that were in my impact images folder. So they're safe here. Honestly, I wouldn't mess with my folders too much. I'd leave them alone. And to really make it safe to keep you from deleting stuff you don't want to delete, what you can do is you can control or right click in the gray area just to the right of the text and you get another menu and I can click on where it says folders, which is checked and it's gone. I didn't delete anything. All I did was hit it. Now, if for some reason I need to go back and look at it and maybe I wanted to create a collection from it, I can right click on any other one and bring up the folders again. So again, folders are just a showing you a directory of your hard drives that have the images that are in the catalog, where collections are temporary groupings of image for some sort of reason. Like I said, you wanted to make a presentation, you're doing a book, etc. And the catalog is a document that contains thumbnails of all your images and the data about the images, but not the images themselves. You could actually delete an entire catalog and your images aren't going anywhere because a catalog is just a listing of the images that you've imported. It takes a little time to wrap your head around this, but I just wanted to show you where these things are in an effort to help you get a little more comfortable with the whole concept of catalogs, folders, and collections in Lightroom. Hope that helped. Until next time, be well. Have a great week. Bye-bye.